The landscape of in-app purchases is changing fast. Mobile, web, and PC platform app stores are no longer walled gardens. As different web shops and payment providers become available for games, paying high platform fees to access your players just doesn't make sense. We've extended our IAP solution to offer you more choice. So you can use web shops and use third-party payment processing systems to lower your platform fees and keep more of your revenue while making your games available on more sites. And if you want to just keep using the same built-in setup you've always worked with, you can still choose to do that too. But most of you will probably want some mix of these approaches to respond to market factors, because laws and regulations are changing quickly, regional norms vary, and some player cohorts are just less inclined to make purchases off-platform. With Unity IAP, you can optimize your pricing and business models across platforms to offer this mix more simply. It streamlines commerce to a single integration where you can manage payment providers and storefronts across every platform. It's designed to put you in control, giving you the freedom to move between solutions, access to multiple providers based on location, and a single place to manage all these choices across multiple purchasing platforms built directly into the editor. And all of this while increasing your profit margins. To do this, we're partnering with third-party payment solutions like Stripe, the programmable financial services company. Stripe's merchant of record solution and app to web payments platforms let you lower your costs while Stripe manages fraud, disputes, and tax behind the scenes. And Coda, a trusted partner to leading game publishers. Coda delivers global solutions for digital content monetization and distribution covering over 70 markets worldwide. We're also investing in IAP to make it work better for you by ensuring that our purchasing APIs are stable and that you can access new store features as soon as they become available. And we're making all these engine native commerce features simple and scalable to reduce your maintenance overhead. So you can manage things like pricing, promotions, and live operations for multiple web shops and payment solutions across mobile, web, and PC. Unity IAP gives you a holistic view of your revenue, no matter where it's coming from, all in one place, free from any platform-specific tools and restrictions. So you have greater visibility and control over how you optimize your entire catalog across all platforms and devices. We're dedicated to putting you back in control of your own success. So now, I'd like to introduce you to Forrest and Tim from SciPlay to talk about why the social gaming powerhouse is getting in on the ground floor with IAP by partnering with Unity to production verify IAP tech while generating more revenue from their game. Tim, Forrest, welcome to Unite. So glad you could join us. So let's start with this. There are lots of tools out there to handle end user payments. Why is the Unity ecosystem the right move for SciPlay? Yeah, uh, you know, when it comes to something that's as fundamentally important to our games as payments, uh, the who is actually as important as the what. And, and partnering with a familiar company that understands the unique challenges of the gaming industry just really gives us confidence. Um, we need a solution that meets the needs uh, from both flexibility, scalability, and performance. Uh, and this partnership you know, minimizes the barriers to entry and the number of vendors that we have to integrate. So that, that's great. Um, right now, the landscape is shifting. The rules around digital commerce are evolving. Distribution methods are, are constantly in flux. And suddenly, every gaming company is being asked to solve problems that used to fall squarely into the, sort of the, plat the platform's domain. And let's be honest, that's not where our competitive advantage is, right? Our focus is on creating amazing experiences for our players. Uh, so the value of Unity's ecosystem for us isn't really about a single feature. It's about a partner who is investing in the, the less glamorous, deeply operational parts of the stack. Forrest is exactly right. And from an operator's perspective, we are also extremely pragmatic. We use the tools that win in practice, not just the ones that look good on a slide. So if Unity can offer a stable, well-tested path through that chaos that lets our teams focus on building experiences that players can feel instead of chasing the shifting edges of policy and compliance, we're here because Unity is placing bets in the same direction the industry is already moving. So your audience is really global. How important is the ability to control regional rollouts around local laws and user habits to you? 
hugely important. And honestly, it's one of the most quietly painful parts of running a scaled operation. People talk about global launches like they're one event, but they're really not. They're a thousand micro launches wrapped in legal, cultural, and behavioral nuance. Germany isn't Brazil, Korea isn't Canada, and the rules can change while you're asleep. So having the ability to tune an experience by region isn't just a nice to have, it's table stakes for anyone who wants to be in the top tier. And honestly, most companies simply don't have both the infrastructure and the appetite to build all that themselves. Even at SciPlay, with a pretty sophisticated tech backbone, it's real work. Yeah, I mean, if Unity can take on that burden for the broader ecosystem, that's good for the whole industry. Uh, it levels the playing field without pulling engineering teams away from their actual missions. Uh, and taking on the burden in a way that actually unlocks more alpha is a huge windfall for Unity developers. Definitely. And you know, when you think about it, how important is it for you to have something that you can just drop into a live game while being able to leverage your existing data and targeting? That's a magic word, uh, drop in. Um, retrofitting anything into a live game, especially one already doing real revenue, is like upgrading the engine of an aircraft while you're still in the air. Nobody wants to do that more than once and approximately never if you get your choice. So if you can give a team a truly drop-in solution uh, that res respects their existing data models and lets them continue using the targeting and segmentation that they already trust, if you don't have to re rewire the entire stack, that's the difference between adoption and a great pitch deck. So our competitive advantage is in using that data to create those experiences, not building payment and consent pipelines. Unity delivering a solution we can plug in seamlessly on top of what we've already built is a huge win. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. We've been a Unity customer for a long time, and we are genuinely excited to actually be partnering at an even more strategic and fundamental level uh, to really maximize the benefits of this relationship, and we're super excited to see how we can be uh, help, help to deliver something that adds immense value to developers everywhere. Yeah, and if I can leave the room with one thought, it's that we're all building in an environment where the speed of change outruns most, if not all, of our roadmaps. The companies that thrive aren't the ones that guess right. They're the ones that stay adaptable. So anything that can help you stay nimble without burning your teams out is worth all of our attention. Guys, thank you so much for coming out here to talk about this. We're so excited to be building the next era of in-app monetization closely with you. The flexibility of Unity's IP management system unlocks so many possibilities for the future, like experimenting and A-B testing different approaches by region, genre, or demographics to discover what works best for your audience in real time. You can sign up for early access using the QR code here. <laughs>